one and only Arnold Schwarzenegger. I ate a lot of meat. They showed us commercials. Steak. That's what a man eats. Selling that idea that real men eat meat. Serious man food. But you got to understand, that's marketing. That's not based on reality. I've been teaching fighting techniques to government agencies for more than 15 years. Then, I got injured. Unable to teach for at least six months, I spent more than a thousand hours studying science on recovery and nutrition and stumbled across a study about the Roman gladiators. The gladiators were predominantly vegetarian. How could the original professional fighters be so powerful, eating only plants? When I made the switch to a plant-based diet, I qualified for my third Olympic team. I broke two American records. I was like, man, I should have done this a long while ago. When I went plant-based, I wasn't sure if I was going to survive. And I actually became like a machine. One of the biggest misconceptions in sports nutrition is that we have to have animal protein to perform at a high level. That's just not true. Sometimes you have to do things that you know your competitors aren't doing. Today's blood and yesterday's blood. Yeah. I think this is going to wake a lot of people up. I was recovering better, not getting as sore. This was our best season in the last 15 years, and we had 14 guys on plant-based diets. We all want to feel great, have more energy. Cholesterol was 276. Today, 169. Whoa, now you're talking. <laughs> Most guys my age can't keep up with the grandchildren. My grandchildren can't keep up with me. It's not one set of dietary guidelines for improving your performance as an athlete. Another one for reversing heart disease, reversing diabetes. It's the same for all of them. Someone asked me, how could you get as strong as an ox without eating any meat? And my answer was, have you ever seen an ox eating meat?